Hey there all craft beer lovers, thanks for joining me on this beer review. Time to take the old trip guys, we're heading to Warsaw in Poland and we are returning to uh, Browar Funky Fluid. Taking uh, today, <laughs> we're taking a look at their free gelato, berries and cream, which is a uh, alcohol-free sour beer, clocking in at 0.5% ABV, which is of course alcohol-free, regarded as, as such, 500 ml can, and it is flavored with raspberry, black currants, marshmallow, and vanilla. And look at that artwork, guys! Just super inviting artwork i mean i when i saw that one on the shelf i just pounced on it you know looks so so inviting uh contains water barley malt raspberries 10 percent black currants 10 percent wheat malt rye malt oat flakes wheat flakes lactose marshmallow one percent vanilla 0.1 percent hops and yeast so very very transparent Sweet and sour non-alcoholic beer inspired by intensive Italian ice creams packed up to the ceiling with forest fruits, marshmallows and vanilla. That's what they say guys. Alrighty, enough talking, let's get that beer out, see what we get guys. So I have uh, reviewed uh, uh, one beer from these guys before and I really enjoyed it. It was also a sour beer. There we go. And I do have another one in the fridge as well to review. Look at that. Look at that beer. Right. Let's get the, all the beer in. See if we can get a little bit of sediments as well. Okay. Right. Okay, guys. So, what do we have? Well, well basically no head whatsoever. It just vanished. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very lovely looking beer. Uh, kind of dark red, almost like purple. Really hazy looking. Lovely presentation on, on the nose then. Oh yeah, very, very berry. Very berry, <laughs> a lot of berries in there. Yeah, foremost I get the raspberries. Lovely kind of uh, fruity raspberry nose. Yeah, smells like fresh raspberries actually, newly picked ones. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of kind of fruity sensations, but uh, the thing that stands out are the raspberries. Okay, with that said, guys, let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Okay. Mm. Again, let's go again before we start to dissect it. It's okay. It's an okay beer. To be honest there, uh, I, I did expect a, a, a bigger and richer mouthfeel. It is quite thin, to be honest. It's a, a, quite a thin mouthfeel. But hey, guys, it's a alcohol-free beer. I mean, what more do you expect, right? You can't really put a lot of you know demands on an alcohol-free beer. It's really hard, of course, to, to, to make it very, very rich and uh, gloopy. So unfortunately, it's not that. Taste-wise, I do mostly get the raspberries in there. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a bit watery uh, in the body. You get some uh, nice raspberry tones in there. A little bit of tartness. Ever so slight sweetness, but it's more tart. But I mean, it's very, very manageable. Uh, I would say if you're into sour beers and you have a lot of experience with sour beers, this one will not impress you. But if you like the more kind of subdued, 
tartness in, in a sour beer if you don't want that super mouth puckering uh, uh, reaction when you take that beer in your mouth you will probably like this one uh, as I said guys taken for what it's worth it's an alcohol free one it's mostly about the raspberries it's thin a little bit uh, watery I mean I don't really get the black currants I do get raspberry mostly fruity tones a little bit of nice tartness there uh, for me oh sorry for me it's it's a nice one but a little bit too thin uh, but it's a nice non-alcoholic beer so if that's your thing if you're going to a party and you can't drive or or if you're a designated driver can't drink whatever uh you know take this one with you it's going to be a nice sipper uh for me 3.25 out of 5 thanks for watching